a little video showing kind of how clean the inside the tank is now. That had a little bit more surface rust all the way around it, but I hit it with some CLR and got rid of all of it. Inside looks pretty clean. It was a lot worse than this. I mean, it was fucking horrible. I find that funny. You can actually see where the fuel system cleaner was in. Oh no, that's where I wiped it with the rag. Never mind. Never mind. Do -do -do -do. Other than that, I mean, this thing came out pretty damn clean. I'm not seeing anything. It's pretty good. I've actually never seen it up on top of there, so I don't know if it's rusted or not. Don't look like it. Damn, this thing looks brand fucking new. And I know this is the OEM original one, because underneath that has some battle wounds. No holes, but I mean, it has some pretty good dents on the damn thing. Yeah, I'm actually really pleased. It's coming out pretty good. Second rag. Has some crap, but nothing too crazy. Here's the first set of rags that were soaked the gas. You see it still had some crap in it. Nothing too crazy though. A bunch of tiny, tiny little black particles, but it's nothing like it was before. This is a little bit, pretty much of the rust. See, yeah, but I am seeing, I think this is the rag. Kind of see that little flake. I don't know what the hell that is. Little black pieces, but one of these actually had like a little metal shaving flake on it. I'm just not too sure which one it was. Thought it might have been that one. Kind of see something. But it's not surprising because when I drained the tank and dropped it and everything the last little bit actually had metal shavings in it and this looks good other than that it looks pretty good i'm actually happy with it i'm gonna see if i have enough fuel line i'm gonna replace the fuel the pressure inlet line the return i'm gonna do it but at the same time it's not under any like crazy amount of pressure not no 40 psi like that one is and i'm gonna replace that one because that's oem Kind of see how my rubber bushings are. That's the solid durathane mount. The only thing that sucks about when you do a solid durathane tranny mounts, motor mounts, diff mounts, and subframe mounts, you actually feel a lot of vibration. So on the rear end, since I have durathane diff mounts and subframe mounts, I actually cut out a small little piece of rubber, cut a hole in the center of it, slid it up, and then pretty much put the durathane on it so it's rubber on the durathane it's rub it goes chassis piece of rubber durathane and then it has the rubber on the bottom mount right here i noticed that isolated a lot of vibration and noise out of the back it's kind of a little update what's going on let's check out the fuel pump let's see how dirty it got i mean tell there was some shit inside there i mean look at that That's why it's good to have a good quality strainer. Are you living? Not yet. Oh. I gotta wait for her. Oh, you're talking to the bus stop? Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm, had some crap in it. Other than that, it's not too bad. Huh? I'm making a YouTube video. That's kind of how clean the fuel system is. It came out pretty good. I'm just going to replace that line, drop the tank, or put the drain plug, put the pump back in, and blast out the fuel injectors. I have another video coming shortly. Don't forget to like and subscribe.